to me again. <laughs> I still haven't figured out a, a title for this show yet. Why? Who cares? Random videos never killed anybody, did they? <laughs>
What's he doing? He's pissing about and fucking with Libya. And you know how much it costs the taxpayer every time a cruise missile is launched? Eight hundred million pounds. That's not chicken feed. I'm sorry, like, but they can't find money to fund vital services for our country. Oh, they can find millions to go and fight fucking in Libya. Oh, that makes sense, doesn't it? He's an arrogant twat. He doesn't, he can't admit when he's wrong. He daren't admit when he's wrong. He, <laughs> he never will. So we'll have to get used to the fact. And if this voting ch system changes, we're all in the fucking shit. I mean, God, right? He promised us the world on a gold platter on his pre-election speeches. Didn't he? Yeah, he did. What did we get when he fucking got into power? A dog turd in, at the bottom of a rusty bucket. Aye. Oh, He's just... He, the, the trouble is with Cameron, right? He's arrogant. He, know, he knows everybody knows he's arrogant. But he's just flaunting it. It's like he's proud to be arrogant. I mean, what kind of human being is he? I don't think he's human, actually. He's a fucking parasite. I'm telling him. Just like my ex-wife. Nah. Even he's worse than her. But Nick Clegg, I mean, he's, he's fed up already. I, you can tell all the interviews he's given on radio, on fucking talk radio and something. He's had enough. Cameron's policies. He's always dodging questions as well. He's always like... <laughs> I mean, he was asked five times. One, two, three, four, five. A few weeks ago on this radio, like, chat show, interview, like, talk show, you know. Asked five times, right? Do you agree with David Cameron's big society? Five times he evaded the question and went round the houses. You know what I mean? He's a fucking... He's not fit to lick my fucking boots. I mean, at least in, like, the Thatcher years, right? I mean, she didn't lie. She was a ruthless bitch. She's doing... She did all the damage what they're doing now. But at least you knew it was coming because she told you it was going to happen. But Cameron and his bum chums, they're all like, oh, they, they, oh we're not going to do that, we're going to do it. Like, millions of U turns, man. But at least Thatcher were, oh, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do Oh, she did it, no. Oh, I'm going to fucking put millions on the door. She did it. She kept the word. I'm going to come out with this thing, I know, the poll tax, which is now the council tax. She did it. <laughs> Big riots down London in 1989 about it. Didn't do any good, because we've still got the fucking council tax. Uh, you know, it's one of them things, isn't it? Isn't life shit sometimes? We've got to get this fucking government out. Destroying the country, man. They're bringing us down to our knees. We don't want that. We don't need that. I need to keep my fucking job. I don't need my company to be sold off overseas just because a couple of quid fucking cheaper. You know what I mean? Get out of fucking Libya. Get out of fucking Libya and look after England. Fucking hell, man. What's he trying to do? Impress? In America, Ooh, I mean, they're laughing at him. The Yanks are laughing at him. The, the, they're even telling him that he's oh, on the verge of a double dip recession. 
fact. We are. So hang on to your fucking purse strings, hang on to your wallets, and especially hang on to your fucking jobs. Play it safe, boys and girls. See you later, Hammerhead.